Ready? Sure. Okay. My name is Anthony Barocas, and you are? Paul Kepner. And we are here discussing the tale of two B4 to Micro Four Thirds adapters. A lot of people have been asking about these. I have the $360 one from... $340, 360 somewhere around there. From CCO7 on eBay, and you have... This one was on Amazon. When I bought it, it was $43, but now it's, I think, up to about 80 something. So, so how do these two uh, adapters compare? Well, um, hold them in your hand. I have to say, they're pretty much identical, I think. This is the 300 plus adapter from CCO7 on the right. And this is the Amazon adapter on the left. You can see the difference in the metal. One is brush, the other one's not. Screw mounts on the bottom. I mean, they're almost completely identical. Actually, I think yours seems to weather usage better. <laughs> this the uh, the uh, eBay one from CCO7 seems to show it dings and dents, dings and dents, and usage a bit, little bit better. I had to mark mine which way to open it because too many times I've found myself str struggling to get it right. And yeah. it has the, the nice little print on the top. Yeah, you know, just in case you were confused which adapter you had, it's right there on top. <laughs> but, you know, well, this, and, this... Yeah, there's a slot and there's a dot. There's a little dot and there's a slot, but realistically, all it, it still latches into the camera. It just has to latch into the camera at the right place, not like there... He did a huge slot. As long as the hole's in the right place, you're good. The lenses don't have a big old slot like this, so I don't think that's much of an issue, but you know, the mount in here. I mean, the bolts look the same, the, the little flange yeah, the on bolt. the bottom here. I mean, these are, you know, you'd almost say one's a copycat, but if you didn't know which one came first, you'd be hard pressed to figure out which one was the copycat. You might almost say this was the copycat because it gets scratched up easier. And this one has a, a nicer finish than this. It's even more of a polished. Yeah, the, the base here. is more polished. And it's got the print on top. It's like, oh, look at that. And the copycat didn't even bother to do that. Uh, but Paul saw one key difference. The flange right here on the back that attaches to the camera is thinner than the one on that one. Yeah, the Cisco 7 is uh, definitely thicker, more robust, but realistically that's where you're going to hang the camera, which doesn't weigh anything anyway, so that's probably not much of an issue. Um, the mount part for the lens on the front um, is pretty much identical on these two cameras. Uh, here. Ugh. Mount a lens. It's okay. Let's rinse it out. There you go. And then you turn the turn the flange and it's on. It's nice and solid. They both have the three eighths and quarter inch on the bottom. They both got various hex bolts on the back. I mean, it's sort of like... They look identical. I mean, it's almost a clear copycat except the the cheaper one has got this nice brushed texture or speckled or i don't even know what you'd really call it um on the bottom of the mount on the metal it's i don't know you'd almost say more commercial looking whereas this one is definitely looking now that mine's all scratched up a bit definitely looking more like you'd find in a rental house a studio it's just like it's metal and it's got some paint on it, and it's scratched. It looks like a, an anodized almost. Yeah, anodized black in, the, in where the paint's coming off. But, you know, you're not going to hang, you're not going to mount the camera to the tripod. You're going to use this plate. So the smaller flange on the back doesn't really make much of a difference. The real important part is the front. And I think, you know, what do you think comparing the two? I think they're, I mean, they're, I think they're both good. I haven't had it flex at all on my camera and, and i've had it mounted on the foot here and so it's been steady right and this is uh, it's my lens my current lens and you know when you once you've got it on you know you're mounting the lens 
to the tripod this way and the camera hangs off the back and there's zero movement there. Whoop. Even when you drop it. <laughs> I think I put a dent in the floor. Here, put that one on yours. You want me to drop this one too? <laughs> Just to compare the two. Uh, they're both sort of like fluid damped. Um, no, they both cinch nice and tight. There's no give in there at all. And I would, I would definitely say, you know, I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Yeah, it's it's tight. I mean, when you cinch it down, there's no wiggle or anything inside the cheap one or the or the the one that I dented the floor with. So I would say, you know, if you were looking at an adapter, I I, I would wanting to save a couple hundred dollars and then. wanted to save a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> I would say, hey, you know what, the one from Amazon. Or eBay, you can pretty much find them in both places now. It's uh, pretty it's, much on par. It's cheaper on Amazon. Cheaper on Amazon, that's, mm -hmm. that's interesting. And then with Amazon Prime, it's free shipping. <laughs> so it's even cheaper. So here you have it. I'm Anthony, and this is Paul. And we're here looking at the B4 to Micro Four Thirds adapter comparison. <laughs>